here on you guys happy manifestation money making monday mm-hmm. it's your girls it's your ladies it's your bosses <laughs> your mompreneurs and we're back for another episode let's jump right into it First yes. of all, I just want to let you guys know how grateful I am that the Most High is still choosing to breathe life in our lungs. The Most High has instilled each and every single one of us with talent and intelligence to be able to uh, glorify the Most High as well as provide for our families and create generational wealth for the generations to come and our children's generations and the generations after that. Right? Right. <laughs> Let's jump into it. Yeah. How y'all doing tonight? Super excited to have you guys. Tonight's show is going to be super dope. Okay, yes, let yes, me. Yes. Let's get into our intro, BB. All right, let's get into it. What's up, everyone? I am BB Nicole. Peace and blessings. It's your girl, Trend, and welcome back to another episode of the beauty vault yes if you haven't seen our faces before i'm bb nicole i am founder of dhg pro university and i'm also salon owner at deluxehairgallery.co for the ones that don't know that's right girlfriend and it's your girl trend i'm the ceo of totally trend llc your co-host here right on the beauty vault as well as your co-educator at dhg pro university yes yes mm-hmm. yes we are so happy just to have you guys joining us today um mm-hmm. in reference to this hot topic yes i'm interested to see where this goes Hey. I'm interested to see where this goes. Me too. The chat is popping. Hello, Jaleesa. Welcome to the vault. We're glad to have you in the audience. Stay tuned. It's going to be a dope show. Yes, yes, yes. So you guys, um, you don't know, I am streaming on two different social platforms. I am straddling Facebook, YouTube right now, and I'm also on my personal page on my ig so i want to make sure that i'm able to engage with everybody i appreciate you for popping in with us today so today's episode is sponsored by yours truly dhg pro university that would be my beautiful co-host bb nicole she's bringing you everything micro links she is DHG Pro's texture expert, honey. Mm-hmm. Yes, she has some one-on-one class going on right now, as well mm-hmm. as she is going. Oh, well, you know what? I'll let her tell you about what she's got going on. But me, yeah. as far as DHG Pro University, Trend, I will be bringing you everything natural hair care. Yes, specializing in locks and braids and. I'm even teaching you guys how to maintain your children's hair right now. But that's another yes, story. It's a great story, though. <laughs> yes. DH, uh, DHG Pro sponsors the Beauty Ball, as well as if you check out our beautiful co host space today, Makeup by Amani. Mm, tell us about your look today, girlfriend. Natural, because, you know, it is the evening time. I just like a natural. This clean, clear skin type of look. Not too much. Very minimalistic. And she slays every time. (laughs) Every single time. She does not miss. She does not miss. So you guys, make sure that you check out Amani at N-K-A-M-A-N-I. Follow her and book your beats, guys. Okay. Do that. Let's go ahead and check in. Yeah. Last week was definitely a trying week. I'll just speak for myself. You can agree. I can definitely agree. Yes, we definitely had um, a lot going on last week. But the weekend, I can say, was just kind of like a little bit of a sunshine, Mm -hmm. a little bit of sunshine at the end of the storm, right? Mm -hmm. It was a little bit of relief for me. Um, I had the honor of doing a one-on-one with the students so that was really really exciting for me it was actually a major major stepping stone for me so i was Mm -hmm. excited to do that so i'm still in the spirit of celebrating maybe how was your weekend oh my weekend was um it was my first weekend back to work 
so excuse me so that was you know real i'm happy to be back you know in my bag and back focus you know just continues to pray for my family pray for my loved ones and also you guys pray for my co-host and her family as well um grieving is difficult but you know getting back to work was definitely a um, highlight of my weekend because i'm finally back doing what i love so excited about that well we're excited to have you back behind the chair girlfriend so welcome back and pat on the back give yourself some grace give yourself some love because yeah definitely push through adversity and thank you family this year so i'm proud of you girl i'm giving you some virtual flowers hey everybody i see people over in the chat let me give us let's get over in the chat right quick since since we're checking in let's check in with our beauty vault members what are, yes what we are got, we gonna call them we need an official name for them guys y'all need to vote to down, down below <laughs> yeah what do you guys want us to call you want, yeah you know, let's think beauty the vault bosses something while we think about something dope you guys y'all comment down below how was y'all weekend we really want to know we really want to know what y'all been doing all weekend and how has your monday been so far Yes, yes, yes. How is your Manifestation Monday? What are you guys manifesting right now? What are you guys working on that's going to bring you success in the near future? How was your weekend? Mm-hmm. Let us know. Drop it in the chats. We're checking in. Yeah. Checking check, check in. Okay. Oh, we're, Jalit, we're uh, doing- Hey, honey bun. <laughs> Courtney. Uh, yes, oh, Nicolette. Yes, she does. Yes, yes, yes. She is the bomb. I agree with you, Courtney. Yes, yes. I can't wait for her to get her hands on my face. Mike, our number Anytime. one supporter. We are so happy to see you here. We hope you had a wonderful yeah. success creating day today. Hey. Oh, I got some people over here in my IG as well. What's up? Peace and blessings. <laughs> I'm just a, loving the energy. Day. Had a good weekend. They coming in strong with the support. Yeah, and I'm, loving that. It. I'm loving it. I'm loving the engagement, that. guys. It's definitely, we can clearly so see excited. that the people are supporting us yes the people we love it. are interested in what we're doing and they engage with us so it, it just gives me that confirmation that we are on the right track for sure so again i'm just in a spirit of gratefulness today that is my mm. mood and i'm sipping on a mm. wendy's blueberry lemonade <laughs> I am sipping on hibiscus tea, honey. I got the tea in my mug today. Yes. We are <laughs> like the yin to the yang, okay? For sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we got the people in. I guess we'll we go do. ahead and get into the juice for today. You want to let them know what the hot topic Let's, is? We have checked in. We've already let you guys know how grateful we are. Let's get into it. Each and every week, we bring you guys the hottest topics, whether it has to do with the beauty industry or just things that are going on in our culture, right? Right. So today we're getting into our today's hot topic is AI, artificial intelligence, and how we're using it in our business today. How can we benefit from using AI about that. in our lives today? So mm-hmm. AI automatically makes me like cringe a little bit. Really? I'm gonna be honest. Just hearing the word AI just makes me think immediately of our robot. My robot, yeah, I was gonna say you that know, too. With Will Smith, it immediately makes me think about that. So I am excited about this hot topic today because I hope that by the end of this episode that I will feel um, a little a calmer spirit towards AI as a whole. I'm a little intimidated. Yeah. By really, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little intimidated by AI, artificial intelligence. Um, you know, I'm born in. I was raised in the '90s. Mm-hmm. I was born '89, raised in the '90s. So you know, I'm kind of right on that cusp of coming into artificial intelligence. We knew mm-hmm. it. We've always known it was coming, but now mm-hmm. it's like it's not the future anymore. It's it's the present. It's here. It's, yeah. it's here right now. That's crazy. It is. Yeah. So um, just like me, a lot of people out there are probably wondering what the crap is AI? Mm-hmm. And AI is our, is basically artificial intelligence. Um, artificial intelligence are machines capable of simulating human-like behavior and decision-making. 
Mm, that's, so, that's scary. in other words, they're, they're smart machines that are capable of communicating, creating, designing, simulating human-like behavior mm-hmm. and decision-making. Mm-hmm. That's why I mean, It could be really, really good, and it could be really, really bad. That's true. That's Just true. depending on how you utilize it. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Let's get into it. What yes. do you think about AI? I'm, oh, I don't even know why I hit that. What do you think about AI, BB? I Just- mean, I'm I'm not necessarily terrified of it. I'm more intrigued. I really, um, I find technology very interesting. I'm always looking into things and trying different things. I always want to know more about things. So I like it. I mean, I feel like it is, it does run the lines of distorting reality. A lot of things, like if you look out on just Facebook, let's say Facebook today, I stepped out there for a little bit. And the main thing that's trending right now is AI. It's like a, it's like a photo changing thing that makes people look like babies or predict oh, what their babies yeah. look like. So I said, that's so crazy that we're talking about that today because it's trending. And I'm like, that's like distortion of reality. And they look, the, the better they get, the more we feed these machines as we're using it, we're basically helping it grow its brain. Like a lot of people don't understand that. We're feeding it our information. We're teaching it how to think like us, how to behave like us. We're doing that all along. So it's definitely crazy and then uh so from there the more advanced it gets and the more the more we feed it this stuff is going to look more real people are already kind of playing around with uh creating faces and like creating human beings so i'm a, i'm just excited to see where it goes if we're not careful we're going to get on social media and if we think we have a struggle right now seeing what's real and what's fake it's only the beginning is getting crazy that's Ooh. why i've kind of dialed back from like posting a bunch of filters and stuff because i'm like we're really going to look back and not even really know what our natural faces look like because everything is just so fake so simulated like so, fake, so simulated so, hu- so but, simulated and human like yeah it is but you know <laughs> human like um, but not quite human you that's know? right and today you know the we see it used on social media we see it in social media itself social media is ai but we're definitely going to tap into the business side of it because there are some downsides there are some things that may make you nervous or apprehensive about it but there are some major benefits to it too so if you use it ethically and kind of learn it and tap into it now while it's pretty new you can really elevate your business and optimize your business and that's why we're here today and I'm excited about that because I use it in my day-to-day you know I'm a hair salon um, owner and I'm also a hairstylist so if you're if this is your first time seeing me I use we already use like um, AI and like our booking services and things like that that's all um, automation and things like that so we're already using it but there is some things we hopefully we teach you guys something new today and hopefully you guys learn something new today and you take away uh, some AI things that you can implement into your business. But that's all I have to say about that. I'm ready to get into the show. Well, honey girl, I'm putting all my faith in you because one thing I know about you, <laughs> you're not quick to put your name and uh, your energy into anything that is not going to bring you value or your family value. So For sure. you know what? I'm excited. Me too. To learn more. Yeah, I'm excited to... Uh, to dive into this so yeah, yeah. So we funny. kind of broken the ice a little bit about what ai is and mm-hmm. um just to repeat it artificial intelligence are intelligent machines capable of simulating human life behavior and decision making so mm. bb yes why does ai matter and what will yes. ai replace let's discuss importance of AI in various industries, specifically the beauty industry. Well, yeah, I mean, for starters, like, um, now I'm, I'll kind of generalize, you know, what I've seen and what I've uh, noticed, just, you know, looking out into our world, AI is not only coming for like the beauty industry and uh, things like that, AI is replacing things like customer service we already saw that happen now when you call in certain businesses you can't even speak to a human so it started that way and even now if you're in the stores you probably notice that the checkout lines it's 
crazier now. Even stores like Dollar General, I went in there and the workers are literally just stocking things and you're checking out yourself. So as far as like in the beauty industry, I feel like things are going to change. It's going to change the way we do content. It's going to change the way we run our businesses. AI is going to replace assistance. I feel like AI is going to, um, it's just going to do a lot for us. You know what I mean? So um, I also feel like there, just to be clear, there are some things that AI won't ever replace, but our competition is is really out there. The 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 um, these machines are really competing with us and competing for our jobs. So um, I also feel that I don't know if it will replace like things that we do, like doing hair and things like that. But I do feel like graphic designers and you know uh, beauty consultants, things like that, they're going to be replaced. Like even when you're shopping for like makeup now everything we can try on before we even get there we can like plug in our face you can analyze wow. your skin so ai is like taking over things it's slowly like they're fully integrating it you you can add they're slowly integrating things imagine walking into the at, to the mat counter and you're sitting down and you're like yes i need a consultation for <laughs> some makeup and you got a robot that comes and scans your face and is like scans your skin yeah. tones and paints you a face on scans you a face on and you turn around and it's like oh this is great it's closer than you think but and oh it's already God. happening it's I happening though that. that's um, something a, to think about a big one is like ill maquillage they're a makeup brand and they they literally will scan your face you can put in your picture and they match you up great. So it's already in our phones, it's built in. We're literally just feeding artificial intelligence. We're literally, literally just you know what? feeding when it and helping buy it our grow. iPhones, When we first buy our uh, iPhones and it's scanning our facial structure, it's telling mm -hmm. us to look left and to look right and look up. And that's exactly what it's doing. So yeah, so yeah, think about it. It's already, wow. you know, it's already in there. I mean, um, you know, as far as like what we do, like in salons, I, the administrative work, I've been using AI a lot, especially for like the administrative work, like planning, planning, um, like filling in like my services and deciding what services I wanna offer. Also creating content. I've been using AI to help me create content, whether it's planning out um, captions, whether it's planning out like you know, lesson plans for like students and things like that. I've really integrated into our business. I even use it a lot for like the podcast stuff. And so it's a lot of ways that you can use AI. And I don't know, what do you use right now that you could think of to run your business? What are you using as far as like AI to run your day-to-day -day business? Siri, take me home. Girl. <laughs> that don't count. <laughs> it do, but it don't. I mean, like your salon business doing hair. Okay, um, let's see. You guys, I'm learning too, so I feel like this is a pop quiz, okay? <laughs> um, my booking my booking uh, site is AI. Those are the most common ones, yep. Mm -hmm. My booking site, my booksy. I use booksy, and I would imagine that that would be a, an example of how I use AI for my beauty business. It is, it is. Um, also, um, that's a great one. Booksy is a great one. I also, guys, if you run a business, you can use AI for, let's say, communication, right? You want to communicate with your audience. You want to text your audience. You can create email campaigns. You can, you can literally use AI to enhance your marketing. They have AI, and you guys see it all over the internet. They literally have AI now that kind of replaces like photographers. They're getting more realistic. They have like AI that is like text to image. So if you type in an image that you want to see, the, um, the AI can generate it for you. I even see one of my Facebook friends, they use some type of AI um, program. And what they do is they create like photo shoot, not like images for websites. They create different packages. They might be like paint packages. They might make scrub nurse outfits and things like that. I saw that and I was like, Oh, that's intriguing. That's interesting because that's a photographer's job. We we spend the bank, you know, doing our photo shoots, doing our marketing. So the fact that they have technology right now that you can type in, 
I even played on one today. I said, I want to see, make me an image of a group of powerful women at a meeting or at a brunch and put them in various different hairstyles, black women, that's what I did. And I was like, put them in all luxury pink outfits. And it literally generated the images for me. And I'm like, what the F? So imagine that later. I gotta yeah, see I it. will. I gotta wait we'll, to see we'll, it we'll my own eyes. It. But it's just so much that you can do. And it's just, it's changing our industry. And I feel like one thing you want to do, one thing we've learned from history, you don't want to get behind the curve. If you get behind the curve and the industry moves on without you, what they say, like the speed, the, the speed of culture, culture moves fast and it changes fast. So I'm encouraging everyone to tap into AI, get knowledge about AI and start using it in your businesses, start using it. Um, I even use AI in my personal life. So what I'll do is sometimes when I'm having a busy week, because I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a mom, I'm all the things. So sometimes I'll say I'll use um, AI to literally um, type in what I want to eat for the week, what I want to feed my family for the week. I'll even include things like you know, gluten free or anything, anything special. And I'll say, can you, this, these are the meals I want to have. Can you generate me a shopping list? So I use AI for life things, not just life. I'm just a techie person. And now I have my whole shopping list already printed out, already ready for me to go. I can check it off as I'm in the store. I can revise it, change what I want to change. You know, it's, it doesn't have to be brand specific, but that cuts so much, it frees so much of your mental space. AI is just world changing. And that's why I like it. I appreciate those type of things about it. Not necessarily the fact that it can replace things and it can, you know, you're kind of teetling toddling on the line of reality and not. Um, I just love it for the things that I've been able to do with it. So this episode is just, I just can't wait to really get into the, ju the juice and the meat of what we got to offer them today. So I'm excited about that. Sweet. Well, definitely already when you said that it would create a shopping list for you, you definitely yeah. got my attention. Because uh, we have to free up time. Yeah, for real. We'll get into those apps later. Well, that's already just our second thing, just the benefits of using AI. You've just given an example of that. Yeah, you free up your time. Of how you can utilize that to uh, benefit not only your personal life, but mm -hmm. just like you said, for example, um, it would benefit from using AI in our business with our book and links because Booksy does give me the ability to do a uh, blast emailing, blast mm -hmm. text messaging, blast marketing at one time. And I didn't never think that that was tied into AI. You didn't it even is. think about that. So mm -hmm. I'm using AI every day, all day, and probably not even really realizing all of that that's part. what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. We just got to optimize it, you know? Um, so I get, we're on the benefits of using it. Okay. Yeah. So you started getting into it. Let's let's do let's it keep it. Let's do it. Um, so you get tell the people because I know that I'll, I'll just say this. So I'm a salon owner. You're a salon owner, right? We we run our salons and we're running our business on a day to day. So one thing about AI. Like one thing, a benefit of it is it increases our efficiency. What that just means is it helps us with like scheduling. It helps us with planning. It helps us with data entry and things like that. I've usually, I've literally used um, AI to help me like create like a schedule of content for my week. That's how you can use um, AI in your business. You know what I mean? So there's different ways that you can like plug in. I wanna, you know, I want to create a marketing strategy. Can you help me create a marketing strategy? I've been able to use like certain um, engines and search engines and chat GPTs and things like that to really help my business. Um, so that's one way that, you know, I've been using it to increase my efficiency. Do you kind of think of any more benefits that AI has brought to you in your business? Um, I just, just, we just said that we were talking about just using my Booksy app with it, giving me the ability to do the multiple email blasting or being able to reach out to, um, more than one client at one time in reference to scheduling. Um, it generates automatic messages and replies mm -hmm. back to my guests. Mm -hmm. 
when they schedule in an appointment. Got it. So that's the main one you're using. You're not using any of the other ones. It, no, it, no other that you know of. Okay. Well, um, I'm still well, learning what the different, yeah, what they are. Yep. Well, I have some notes and I'm going to miss anything. So I want to talk about some more things, right? So the benefits of, you know, we're human, we get tired, we run out of ideas, we, you know, run out of creativity and things like that. So another uh, benefit of AI, aside from increasing efficiency, it helps us enhance our accuracy. So you have different engines that will help you with like your communication skills we are in a communication business whether we're talking to our clients whether we're trying to convey a message on social media to get people to book us to get people to share our content to get people to you know uh, engage on anything that we're sharing and putting out to the world so we there they have different ais and we'll get into that later they have different things that you can use. You can do things with like grammar. You have different things that will help you plan out what to say. You can put it, put in, I'm trying to get this message across and they will help formulate words for you. If you struggle with creativity and things like that, you should be, you know, utilizing AI to help run your uh, business more efficiently as well as like get your message across. So it's going to help you communicate and it's also going to help you be a lot more accurate, especially when delivering your mess message um it also is kind of like put in place to avoid human error because we do spell checks i mean we, we mess up spelling we get information wrong so ai is really being um built and designed to kind of you know pick up on our mistakes and things like that another benefit of it for business owners and and any type of entrepreneur it helps us with like cost saving right so you can just like we see online right now we see like ai is generating like photos and things like that so you could save money on like photos on graphic designing where you're usually we would reach out to like graphic designers we have things like canva that will kind of replace a graphic designer if you study it and, uh, and things like that so it's going to help you save money it's going to help you save money on like you know it, it does the job of like assistance at times so sometimes you can save money if you need an assistant especially like an admin um type of job or a data entry type of job uh ai can be used to be time be similar to an assistant which is really cool and i mainly use it for that ai is also really good um it'll help you and relieve you of having to outsource a lot of stuff you know like marketing strategies sometimes we pay marketers thousands of dollars hundreds of dollars to create like a funnel for our businesses to create like marketing campaigns for our business text campaigns photo shoots AI is replacing this stuff. So you guys definitely want to start like uh, researching and after this video, tap into the different things that we're going to cover later on, like the different apps and things that you can use to implement your business. Um, and also the last benefit of artificial intelligence is that it's customizable and it's very personalizable, if that's a word. <laughs> but when you put in your input, you're so unique. Your business is so unique. The message you want to convey is so unique. Um, the the direction you have for your business is so unique. And the, the AI is going to literally, you know, work its best to, to really bring your vision and things like that to life. So you're not really going to copy someone else's ideas because when you put your input in, it's going to formulate like things to help you depending on your needs. So it's really hard to like, you know, copy someone and like, you know, use ideas of other people because it just kind of helps you get your ideas and things across. You know what I mean? So those are the benefits. Did you have any more to add or do we need to move on? Okay, we can move on to the next slide. What you guys think so far? Uh, we have some people that are engaging with us. Thank My you so much for so joining right. us on the Beauty Vault. Today's hot topic is AI artificial intelligence and we're discussing today how to use it in our businesses to benefit us we're also actually uh giving you guys a few examples on how to benefit in your personal lives from mm -hmm. using ai as well um so we've just discussed um a little bit about ai and 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 
now we're moving into how we're using AI tools in the beauty industry. Um, we'll share what we use on a day-to-day -day basis for business and why. You okay over there, girlfriend? Girl, my lights is blinding me. <laughs> I'm oh. like trying to get my focus back because it's like my screen is just glared. That's why oh, I've been kind of looking to the side because where my camera is, the lights is just crazy. So I'm good now. My eyes just had to adjust. It's okay, sunshades, girl, or something. I need them at 9.30 at night. No, like, <laughs> girl, we be, they don't understand the setup. The sets be crazy to we run these shows. We definitely be having to put these together all production set, but it's cool. Mm -hmm. you still push through. Yeah. So, so yes. So mm -hmm. again, how, um, we're going to talk about how we are using AI tools in the beauty industry and we'll share uh, what we use on a day-to-day -day basis for business and why yes so um i we're going to kind of talk about like a few we're going to name like a few apps that we are using um to streamline our business and take it to the next level sorry guys i'm gonna be looking here because my light is over there and it's killing me but we're gonna move on past that so the first app people may know about i use canva in my day-to-day -day. do you use canva to run your um, business operations? I do, I'm, I am pretty fairly familiar uh, with Canva. Mm -hmm. So ways that I've used Canva, I use it in my salon, I use it to make flyers, I use it, I've used it to design things for our podcast because I'm loving graphic design. So if you are someone who, you know, is not familiar with um, designing or creating your own things, Canva is a, it's kind of like a, um, a graphic designer's kind of playground. So if you aren't familiar with graphic design, you may struggle with this, but it's very user-friendly. It's very easy to work and navigate through even, and they have like a lot of templates. So if you're a beginner, you can easily get on Canva and create, you know, flyers for your business, business cards. You can create, um, banners and backdrops and so much that you may need you can do that with canva um so i really like canva canva is something i use daily i open up my phone when it's time to do something for work i'm on canva and i'm designing things i design a lot of like my logos in canva um what are you what are you designing in canva right now are you do you make your business cards and stuff with it or what how do you use it um, I'm currently working on my banner retract, uh, retracting banner. Uh, okay, yeah, I created that on Canva. I created mm -hmm. my, my digital flyers. Most of my digital flyers are, um, on Canva. Mm -hmm. Um, I've designed, I'm working on some t-shirts right now. I'm designing those and that's about it. I think yeah. so many things, business cards, um, I, I was, I lost my train of thought, but, um, I was about to say what I'm working on Canva with, what am I doing right now in Canva? Oh my God. I will move on. But you know, I use I, websites. That's what I want to talk about. What so Canva? If you're if you're you can build like a whole website in Canva now, guys. Um, so if you are someone who is looking to like get a new website for your um, business or get a new landing page, I saw that feature and it's not super new, but I didn't know it was there and I thought it was really cool. I even built like a mock website. It's so it's so freaking easy. It should be it should be illegal. Like that's how easy it is. Like, so I created like a mock website out there. I usually use Wix. So you can build a website in Canva. Like I said, you know, the list goes on and on. Use Canva, save some money, you know, and, you know, put that money back into your business another way. Um, if you have any type of creativity, you should be using Canva. You should know about Canva. We encourage you to look at it and look it up. Oh yeah, I just thought about that. I definitely use, I use Canva for homeschooling as well. I've gone mm -hmm. in Canva and created a lot of um, learning material for uh, and a lot of curriculum. Actually, I have found a, a lot of curriculum, like templates for curriculum mm -hmm. on Canva as well. Yes, love it. It's it's unlimited. It's literally unlimited what you can do out there. Uh, yeah, the next, um, the next. AI tool that I use in my day-to-day -day business is a website called Quillbot. 
You guys can read down below what you see. Actually, I'll go ahead and read it because we do have listeners. So Quillbot will improve your written content for beauty industry articles, for blog posts, for social media captions. Um, it is a writing tool. Is it a, It's a suggestive writing tool. It enhances your clarity, your coherence, overall quality, and it's like a fluency enhancing tool. So if you are in a business like me and Trend, like a salon business, like I said, we communicate a lot. We talk a lot and most of our uh, communication style is, you know, with words and we have to get creative with our word usage. We have to get people's attention, whether it's on social media and things like that. I use Quillbot for to help me like speed up my like making my social media post and whenever I want to like type something in real quick but I don't want to be all grammatically correct Quillbot will auto enhance your text it will make sure things you don't have no grammatical errors because you know the um the grammar police are real out there on the internet they don't let you make mistakes <laughs> you know what I mean they don't let you make mistakes so I use police. it yes another um way that I use Quillbot is you can actually say if you're not as creative or as wordy, you can actually put your thoughts into Quillbot and it will paraphrase it for you. I've actually used Quillbot when I was writing and creating my textbooks. There are features, say if you're wordy like me, <laughs> there are features that you can plug in and it can um, summarize your words. It can give you a better, it can give you a better way to say it. So I use AI um, Quillbot when I was creating my textbooks just to make sure that I was um, using the correct grammar. It was kind of like my backup editor in a way. So I wrote everything. And then when I plugged it into um, Quillbot, it corrected any errors. It caught anything that I may have missed and it, you know, restructured some of my word sentences and to, to make it flow better and things like that. So Quillbot is really good. So if you are a writer, if you are a, um, if you are a, anybody that has a business where you are in a communicating business, so whether you're making um, graphic design content for people, whether you have a marketing agency, whether you're a marketer, anything like that, you can use Quillbot to really beautifully, you know, uh, compose your words and things like that. So that's how I use Quillbot. So whether it's a post, whether it's an ebook, I use Quillbot. Have you ever heard of Quillbot? Mm, probably. Maybe. Okay. How, how would you, just from like hearing about it, how would you possibly use that in your salon life or in your business life? How would you use uh, Well, something? definitely when you said something about putting, uh, like being wordy, putting a lot of words or putting your thoughts together, mm -hmm. giving your thoughts to AI, and then it's being able to summarize or articulate yeah. what it is that you're trying to convey. I definitely could see myself benefiting from that, mm -hmm. being an overthinker, an overachiever. Hello. Yeah, and then the fact that I tend to overthink things or overanalyze or want to be a perfectionist, that can keep me from uh, actually completing uh, some tasks mm -hmm. or procrastinate some tasks because I get overwhelmed with the overthinking. So being able to uh, insert that or communicate it to AI, just like, hey, we're doing a brain dump. Take this brain dump and make something beautiful. Yeah. And all I have to do is totally try and approve it. Yeah, that's I it. See myself benefiting from that. Yeah, and, and exactly, and that's the whole that's the whole purpose, and that's the the uh, a great way to use it. Also, another thing that I do to stay true to my brand and stay true to my brand voice, I may sometimes let AI generate something for me, but I'll kind of put it back into my own words. So it's right. not that I'm like losing my creativity. It's just like I said, freeing up brain space. It's catching things you didn't miss, and it's definitely helping you put those thoughts out much, you know, in a better and a more clear way. So I love, I love Quillbot. You guys check out Quillbot. If you have check a, it out. Check it Working out. I'm grant writing right now. Maybe, maybe AI can help me write a grant. Oh, you about to find out. You're going to, your mind is going to be blown. Continue. Yeah. Let's continue. <laughs> yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's move on. AI needs to write me some offer letters. We need a, a proposal. Need it. Yes. That's what I'm going to use it yes. for. Yes. So just to recap, because of the new viewers, we are discussing apps that we use. And so far we went over Canva and Quillbot. So catch this video back from the top to keep up. We don't want to bore the people we have listening. So the next um, 
The next app or AI tool that I use in my day-to-day -day business is Descript. And I'll go ahead and read the definition and how it's used. So Descript is an audio editing tool that simplifies the process of creating podcast episodes, other audio content, and it also transcribes and edits audio using only text. Okay, so if you want to create a podcast, if you have a podcast, if you have any type of business where you use text, you're going to love Descript. Um, they describe it as the Photoshop for audio. So I'll quickly kind of tell you guys how I use Descript. So we clearly have a podcast that you see here. So what you do is you, you can plug, say we get off the stream and I plug this video inside of Descript and I'm getting ready to distribute it, right? Get it ready for audio, get it ready for, you know, to put it on Instagram, to put it on Facebook. So how you use it is you plug it into the editing and you plug it in and what it's going to do is going to first identify all of the voices in the video. So it finds my voice and trans voice and then it transcribes everything that we're saying, right? So it's super genius. It's super cool. And what, what we do is um, I'll correct the transcribing. And so if you say we're talking on the podcast and I jumble my words, just like I just did inside of the script, you can literally take words away and put words back in. So say if you forgot to mention something, it is a tool where you can, it can recognize your voice. It can recognize trans voice, my voice, and I can literally change a video of what I'm saying. And if it has a visual like we have, it will change my words and change my mouth for me. So if I wanna say, hey guys, I'm having a great day. Today is Thursday. It's not Thursday. I can go back and edit that out and post and change that word to Monday and it'll put my voice back in and it will change my mouth to say it's Monday. So it's super cool. It's super dope. And it's kind of crazy. But these, <laughs> these, I'm telling you, Descript is great. If you have wow, a podcast, wow. you know, YouTube videos, just think about the um the different things you can do. And you can also, if you have a talking head video and it's just you in the video, you can literally um, put your voice into the system and it'll track your voice. It'll learn your voice. It'll learn how you talk. You can actually type in a whole video. You know how we're doing our education and we want a landing page video. If you use Descript, you can type in everything you want to say and the video will talk for you using your face, using your voice. It is groundbreaking. It is it's crazy. And I don't feel like a lot enough people know about it. I feel like only the podcasters know about it. And we're just kind of like touching, scratching the surface of what can be done with it. But you can do so much. So Descript is definitely one of those ones. Do you mm -hmm. have any other questions about it? Um, no. no, that was definitely pretty peculiar. I definitely can see the benefit of it. Mm hmm. I definitely see the benefit of it. Yeah, I mean, I'm, it's, I'm working through the fears. I'm working no. through the apprehension. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great episode because, of course, you know we we show up our authentic selves each For and every sure. week, no matter mm -hmm. what, and we decide our topics either the day before, the day of, a couple hours before, however, yeah, the stars align. But this episode is so unique because. As you can see, our beautiful co-host here is so passionate. BB is so <laughs> passionate and she's educated, right? About AI. She's she's on fire about it. Meanwhile, you got me on the other end. I'm like super apprehensive. I'm timid. I'm getting a little bubble gut. Just thinking about AI. I just thinking about AI learning my voice, mm -hmm. being able to use my voice to do not so good things for my business. I just think about yeah. the other side. So this is an interesting uh topic and we have someone in the chat when you said ground is groundbreaking you said groundbreaking is an understatement and i agree <laughs> i didn't see that comment but it's okay I, I'm, on, um, I'm over in ig so okay uh, got, it, got it 28208 says i ai is scary for the most part depending yeah. on the user and usage i agree it you is people who do things for the good for the greater good 
and you just got some people out here who do things for the greater bad and i am that overthinker you're the like yeah you're the constantly <laughs> thinking about the other side of the coin yeah, let's talk so about like, that you know what if we cannot control the bad let's just eliminate it do we really do we would the world come to an end if we didn't have if we did not have ai no no so that's it me if it's not broke why fix it granted all for of these sure. other beneficial things time money convenience mm -hmm. right yeah. you name so many great things on how it could benefit us but it's like god don't forget about the other side of that coin yeah let's talk about the other side of the coin we got time but we have uh right before then we got mookie tv uh, mookie tv peace and blessings he says i yeah. feel the same way trend feels like ai is taking over everything restaurants and music it and is. that's the, that's the truth you know it i'm is. all for it but does it what does that look like in the future it is literally, it's literally eliminating the the personal connection it, it can which is what we really need that is really how we grow and how we learn right being able it to use our five senses it is we are literally being we are walking into desensitization mm -hmm. in the future is that a word it this is desensitization. Desensitization. Fancy. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but that is, look at you using a big I my girl. girl told me your girlfriend. Okay, it was the AI. <laughs> when you use the word, it was the AI. <laughs> but yes, I love what you're saying. Like we do have to be ethical and responsible. responsible. We have to be responsible. We are gonna have to be super responsible. We're gonna have to be diligent. We're gonna have to treat AI with integrity. And the yeah. no snitching rule goes out the window now. If someone yeah. is abusing AI, we need to, we need to tell. Know. The world yeah. could be up. Yeah, because be. this is the thing, like you just how you're talking about the negative uh, side effects and the bad things. So with Descript, this is one of the, this is one that is very, very, serious because you can literally use it someone can download our video they can download our podcast they can use that same um that same software against us they can fabricate you can add to the story you can take away from the story you can create you can right. video. it's basically audio shop um right. i saw a post on social media where it had um Samuel Jackson's voice talking to someone else's voice and it created a whole conversation that didn't ever happen and you have to really pay attention because it is like a little it's like a it's barely you can moving hear the auto tune you can hear the artificial you can hear the slight because you it's hard to tap into that you know all the way and it's very the, clear right, right. it's very clear that Samuel you're not Jackson, God you can't tap exactly into that. that is it's, that is the most exactly high, right? And it's very clear that, you know, they use Samuel Jackson voice in recording versus him being inside the studio to make it more accurate. You can tell it was a little off because they didn't have his authentic voice to make it. Wow. They probably played back a video that he was talking on over and over, but that's one thing about it. So it is kind of, it can get dangerous. Just from, again, it goes without saying, be ethical, you know, don't do anything to compromise someone's brand, their image, use it responsibly. And, but you see it, you know, you see it out there. People are fabricating lifestyles. They, they're fabricating everything. That because might you be why people's money is so getting much. missed because of AI. You know, people, you, <laughs> oh, for real, it just got me thinking, you're like, someone can record my voice. So they now can. you got me, These you're recording me saying mm -hmm. yes. You're recording me saying, just like when they, the doctors call. They have to verify my birthday, my children's birthday. Mm -hmm. I'm saying these things. I'm giving them this. And they say, do you verify? Do you give permission? And you're mm -hmm. saying, yes. You're saying no. Yeah. So AI been... is picking up all of that. It is. So meanwhile, they call in the bank and they like, yeah, let me get 50 thou out my bank account right quick. Mm -hmm. You can use And you, you got your voice anything. recorded over it. Like that can get scary. But it's good to be aware of it because now not only are you aware, aware of how to because use it. Now my, I'm not telling them jack. <laughs> yeah and it's good to be aware too because now you it's it's like this is what awareness does right when you are aware of something it's harder for you to be blinded or blindsided or fooled by it or tricked by it let's just let's just talk about how the when you're when you have um when you get exposed to something it's hard to be fooled by it let's just take something visual like in the beauty industry before we were informed about lace frontals you couldn't even identify it. 
our eyes now now we can that's all we see is no way of hiding it it don't matter how nice it's put on it don't matter how late it is everyone knows what to look for when celebrities were using these and fooling us a long time ago we just didn't have the knowledge so if you know what's capable what's capable of being done especially when it comes to artificial intelligence it's easy for you to spot it like for me i know about descript i know about that, that you can uh, enhance the video and the audio and edit it things can be so edited down now that you have to be careful about taking things at face value i'll even talk about like kiki palmer is going viral right now a lot of people are seeing like posts of her reacting and tweeting and saying things and that is artificial intelligence no she's not even responding people are using these these apps to make tweets for her put her picture with it change things you can literally do all that digitally so you have to be careful on what's real and what's fake so to, when you're more aware of it when you know what's possible with artificial intelligence you'll be able to recognize when things are not real and you know pretty much know what out there not Another really reason. react it could it, it could also change your reaction to things mm -hmm. too when you, instead of you being shocked because it's the first time what we were talking mm -hmm. about last time flee or flight a mm -hmm. flee or fight right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. be more like okay in the midst of chaos you can still have this level yeah. of this energy of calmness throughout mm -hmm. the chaos it's like okay this is what this is what yeah. you can expect and you know what's scary there's gonna be some crazy stuff going on with yeah. AI but but we because we are educated the like the art of war mm -hmm, we know mm -hmm. not looking at ai as our enemy you know kind of no. it to an extent because we're educated we're learning about it we're gaining knowledge on it we mm -hmm. know the different ways of ai different ways that mm -hmm. it can benefit us but we also know different ways that ai could be abused and it could bring us harm yes. so that we can move diligently throughout life yes our so. yes yeah and i do i before we move on i do want to say that it AI is kind of tricky. And with us having, you know, exposure to social media and so many different images and things like that, you even see things now, like you can see a picture of like a UFO and you wouldn't believe it. You would think it's fake. It's like, it's like a false reality. The things that are real, people are like, no, that's fake. And the things that are fake, people are, you know, thinking that it's real. So it's just like a, it can be detrimental to the psyche, but you just gotta stay informed, stay aware and know what's possible. And stop believing everything you see on social media. Stop, you know, thinking every image you see is true. Fact check, you know, research, look it up. So those are, again, those are some of the downfalls of AI, but mostly there's some great tools. And so there's some great things you can do. I agree with you. I've definitely am, have been enlightened. Um, mm -hmm. The, the anxiety has definitely gone down a little bit, even hearing some of those peculiar things that mm -hmm. could bring danger and death upon uh, the whole humanity as we see it. I but, cannot. <laughs> it is, it is. I still know. have a, I'm still interested to learn more about it and even utilize it because it could, if it could benefit my business where it can grow, do it. To bring mm -hmm. me more revenue, right? Mm -hmm. To give me the opportunity to create generational wealth for my children. Yeah, that's going to be something I'm, I might tap into a little bit. For it's sure. going to bring more convenience to my life. Sh create shopping lists for me? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm here for it. To-do list. So I get it. Right, mm -hmm. I get it. If it'll help me to be able to create a proposal, create a website, create uh, marketing tools, like I see definitely the benefit mm -hmm. of Yeah. Um, so yeah. I'm I'm grateful for your brain today and your passion for AI. Because <laughs> if it wasn't for your it. passion and your experience with AI, yeah. we would be talking about Kiki Palmer right now. I low key wanted to get into it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I I low key wanted to get into it. Same, but we're gonna give the people a break. They've literally we been are. dealing with this for two weeks now. So it's we're gonna give them a little breath of fresh air because that's what we do here on the Beauty Ball. We give you what you yes. need, not necessarily what you. Need. So. so let's get into Clavio. All right. So, Clavio. Clavio. Yes. Yeah, so, you know, we we are not gatekeepers here on the Beauty Vault podcast. We definitely um, share our tools and resources with you guys. Um, I'm going to show a quick, um, let's just say we have some things coming up. And I'll explain what Clavio is in just a moment. I want to share something with all of our listeners and mostly our viewers because you're going to be the one to see that. But let's see if we can do this without you guys right quick. That's so funny. So 
what you guys see on the screen, there we are. So we have some upcoming things going on at the Beauty Vault. The first thing we have coming up that we want to talk about today is we have new SMS alerts. So if you want to receive exclusive access, alerts, and VIP information straight to your phone, you're going to be able to sign up for our um, text alerts very soon. You'll be able to enter the vault. And we're super excited about that. And I mentioned that simply because... Uh, we are going to be contacting you guys and texting you guys and automate in our podcast. We really want to automate it and have some things in place. So we're not always having to put our hands in the marketing, put our hands in the alerts, let you guys know when we're going live. We want to kind of take that burden up off of us and just enjoy podcasting and coming up with the discussion. We're trying to take some of the administrative work off of our hands. And one thing that comes along with businesses is you have to market. You have to talk. You have to spread the word. And that's why we use Clavio. So Clavio is kind of like, um, it's a marketing automation platform that uses AI to help your business personalize and optimi optimize email marketing and text marketing. If you guys are familiar with Fashion Nova, you know how Fashion Nova will text you out of nowhere. That is SMS marketing. Emails are fun and they're tried and true, but I feel like emails are kind of taking the backseat to SMS marketing. Do you have any experience with like SMS marketing that's happening on your phone right now? Like if you just name yes, a Yes, I have subscribed to about 23 different um, businesses uh, through the text messaging. Me SMS. too. Mm -hmm. Definitely. For sure. Yeah. So and it doesn't have to be comes in daily. Yes. I got Georgia Power. I'm subscribed to Georgia Power. I'm subscribed okay. to, you know what I mean? Cash yeah. App has SMS alerts. You know, yes, our booking yes. systems have Power SMS definitely alerts. Power gives me SMS alerts. Thank you. They need to be able to contact you. They don't need no excuses. You That's didn't right. see this. Everybody has their your phone. Bill do, honey. We your just bill, your bill. We just drafted your bill from your account. Yes. yes. So Clavio is a convenient. great resource. It's very convenient. It's a tool that you and I and anyone watching can utilize to get your message in front of people. And we all know people are on their phones more than they're in front of the TV, more than they're on the computer. So text messages and mess SMS alerts are taking over. So you can use Clavio to communicate to your audience and reach them. Like, you know, there's so many different ways you can utilize that and optimize that, but that is a tool that you need to know about. Clavio has free options and it also has some paid options and all of the AI that we're showing and sharing with you guys has free and paid options. Just use your use it for your business. You have to look at what the big brands are doing and these big brands are texting your phone now. They're communicating via phone. If you are a salon owner, if you are a podcaster, if you are a just so many different, <laughs> I know I'm so excited about this, but so many different brands. So I, we can literally use Clavio to send out a mass text right now to say, Hey, to everyone in our contact list, Hey, we're live. Here's the link. Check us out. Just like that. We've sent out a message and everyone can join our show. Everyone can tune in. So we just optimize our viewing. We can be launching a new product. We can be having a opening in our books and you can use Clavio to text everyone in your phone like hey I have a 3 p.m open today you know how fast you can fill that seat versus going through your phone trying to text everybody one by one going Ooh, down the line again. yes going say down the again. line filling up uh filling up vacant spots you know you can use Clavio for something like that and we have many people texting us we have many people you know, wanting to book our services. Then you have people that is so last minute, you can use Clavio to tap into those clients that you wouldn't even see. They just happen to be, you know, more um, sporadic and uh, spontaneous. And you shoot out the text like, hey, I got bookings. And they're like, okay, I'm free. You know, not everyone is on the schedule. So it's a way for you to kind of no man, no client, no business, no money, no audience left behind type of okay, thing. Okay, honey. You know, so that's why I love Clavio. I yeah. love Clavio too now. Yeah. Would you use, how How could you see yourself using Clavio? Just with all of the above. Definitely all of my hair babes, all of my lock stars, 
Mm -hmm. um, all of my clients could benefit from that. I have mm -hmm. oils that are coming out. I have one-on-one um, -on -one classes. I have different types of classes that are going on right now, just like yourself. Yeah. Um, openings, you know, there are times where guests aren't able to make their appointment. Mm -hmm. I'm able to send out blasts. Like, I... I'm in love with Clavio. I'm signing up for Clavio. Yeah, tonight. Clavio is like a, if you don't get nothing else on here and you have to put your business in front of people, tap in. For real. Use Clavio. That's definitely your research. something that is going to automatically uh, benefit any business owner. Any that business sell owner. sell a product. Thank you. You can be you have given a product it. or service, Clavio is going to benefit you. Or you have some information. Yes, a You message. have knowledge. You mm -hmm. have knowledge that you need to get across to the masses, Clavio. Is yes. Yeah. I'm yes. loving it. BB, yes. I'm grateful yeah. for you again, girl, because yeah. <laughs> you, us. you dropped a, a, yet another jewel tonight. That, that was some jewels now. So we're going to keep it moving because, you know, we That's like to right. keep our time, but we got to get the people the details. We got to get all the gems. So the next one is really, really, really interesting. It's like life changing this is my go to ai platform i use this from everything from marketing uh, to formalizing thoughts this i use this platform to create my methodology training i use it to i use it to map out um i use it for like thought maps and to organize my ideas i use it for um planning of my courses i use it for so much think of and for the listeners i'm sorry y'all i'm too excited i'm gonna read what's on the screen so y'all know what i'm talking about our viewers are plugged in but the next ai tool is open chat ai i call this ai the assistant this is the mentor this is the the genius in your pocket. If you are running a business, if you are an influencer, if you are a world changer, just someone with a message, with a vision, you need this AI. And it's, uh, it's not even an app, it's on the website. You need this tool in your arsenal. So I'll read the definition of what it is. So this is a chat box. It's a platform that utilizes AI to automate custor customer interactions, provide support, um, answer inquiries, you know how you asked that question earlier, like, how do I write a grant? How do I write grant um, grant applications or how do I fill them out? What are they looking for? This website is truly life changing. It is how I wrote my grants. This is how I propose my grants that I have out. I have one out right now and I use this website to help me with that because I had no one. Um, and, you know, I just needed I had this resource and I tapped into it. Um, and it also helps enhance your customer's experience. So, so there's a few ways that chat, how open chat can like show itself on like websites. If you go to a website and there's a chat box and someone is talking to you, that's usually a chat. It's a bot. It's usually something that's, you know, has tapped into this database. It's tapped into this big virtual brain and it's pulling data. It's constantly growing where when we ask questions, we're feeding it. When we, you know, ask all these things and when we put in our information and our thoughts, we're literally feeding this brain, right? We're teaching it, teaching it how we think, how we communicate. And then you have so many people using it. So this machine is just, this brain is just getting bigger, bigger, it's learning, it's learning. And it's, it's mimicking our behaviors and our thoughts. And sometimes it can tap into like our personalities and the way we speak and things like that. It's another um, app we'll get into later that does more of that, but it can, I did, it can really imitate your voice in a way and how you speak and how you get your ideas and thoughts across. It can really tap into that. So a way that I use um, chat is I may ask it a question like, say if you're starting a business, say you have a very unique business that you're just clueless about, you can literally say, how do I start this business from start to finish in the state of Georgia? And it will, whatever the business, you can type it in and you can get all this information. It will pull up what things cost, the websites you need to book it, book on or look on. It's just so, the, 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 the options are just limited. But one thing about chat websites and things like that, you really have to know what to ask. You have to know what you want. You have to know what you're looking for. You have to know how to communicate with it. It can create lesson plans. It can create menus. It can create so much. The options are just limited, but it's one of the 
most it has like the widest range of possibilities it's so versatile so it's just just it's just such an important tool that i use i love it so i want you guys to check it out i feel like i'm leaving things out but if you get on this particular um ai platform and just start talking to it your life is going to change overnight your business is going to change overnight a lot of things are going to change so definitely check out the open chat love those um but I don't know. So like how you were saying, I wanted you to know that if you need to learn how to write a grant, you know, how you were, you were trying to do like the grant application and things like that, you can literally search, how do I write a grant for such and such? It can pull up the file. It can pull up the type of grant you're looking for. It can pull through databases to see what other entries look like, to see which ones they accepted. It. it can literally tap into all of that. You just have to be very specific. So it's, it's game changing. So I just want to put that out there. So what do you think about that one? Because I know you're looking like I ain't never used that one before. I need to use that. <laughs> uh, what do you yes, think? Of that I'm one? definitely um, interested in playing around with these things. I'm anything <laughs> that has to do with I'm because I'm just like, you see, I had to exhale because anything mm -hmm. that has to do with being on the computer, being on my phone, Mm -hmm. um social media world things like that that is automatically against my natural nature so really? i know that it's going to be something that is going to require energy from yeah me. so i'm mm -hmm. excited to take the time designate i'm gonna have to take designate some time to do just mm -hmm. that knowing that Hey girl, maybe I need to have some watermelon and make sure I'm eating right. Some uh, salad that day because my brain is moving a thousand miles per hour. Just thinking of all the possibilities, yeah, opportunities that could unfold for me just from using the two or three. I don't even know now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, AI platforms. I'm excited. So yeah, be excited. And I also want to tap in because you just gave me another idea because, you know, this can, this can literally be like a series. I feel like there's so much knowledge to be had and there's so many ideas and ways that you can use it. But you mentioned something that's really important. You mentioned your brain power and your will to do these tasks and your energy and effort. So one thing about the chat bots, they are program and design to literally do things at a speed that's so quick they can you're you may not have the mind power but these these um, machines they have it and this is another way that I use this particular um, AI assistant so I may literally have a goal I may want to launch a let's we'll just use DU when I was creating DU, I would make goals for like the classes that I wanted to film or the classes that I wanted to, you know, uh, get presented to my audience. So I would write in the chat like, hey, I have a goal to launch film and create the content and the um, lesson plan for my online class. I want to do it by this day. Can you create a plan for me to to complete my goal by this date. Give me weekly to-do list down with things that I need to do every day up until the launch date. And AI will literally generate all of these steps for me. I will have a week by week play. I freed up my brain. I freed up my mind. I figured out step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, step six, step, step seven. AI has done that for me. You know what I'm saying? So freeing up your brain power and not knowing where to begin where to end what to do this is a game changer the open chat ai is a game changer it helps me with my goals if i can't formulate my thoughts and figure out a plan it can literally tap into it'll tap into like you know different marketing strategies and different um planner it just taps into everything and it can help you literally take that big overwhelming thought and idea and put it into actionable steps this is like God. the main, yeah. This is like the main one you need in your arsenal. Okay. Listen, I'm gonna just say <laughs> this. I when we first started talking about AI earlier today before we hit the podcast, 
just like I have been for the majority of mm -hmm. this podcast, apprehensive, in fear, doubtful, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. A little timid, a little worried, a little overwhelmed with it all. But mm -hmm. now being an hour in, I'm more educated. I know a lot more and I definitely see, I don't understand why I'm not at this point. Like it's yes, like, like after today, if I'm not utilizing AI, especially being mm -hmm. a mompreneur, mm -hmm. um, and one in needing that opportunity to free myself, free my mm -hmm. mind, free the, my responsibilities, have a virtual assistant, which we have been talking about for a while. Mm -hmm. like, there's no reason why I shouldn't be tapping into mm -hmm. the AI. Use it responsibly, mm -hmm. you know, treat it with integrity. I'm yes. grateful again. Thank you. I'm glad you're grateful. And I I'm you definitely know. <laughs> I'm I'm feeling it. I'm uh, AI, we we you coming around, AI, you coming around. Yeah, I'm, it. Yeah, and, I'm feeling and, it. And again, I do wanna, you know, we always wanna be caution. We wanna have caution and proceed with caution. Just putting it out there. Don't put your sensitive information. Don't put your socials. Don't put, you know, even when I'm creating things, I don't always use my business name, my brand name. I just fill in with the information that's necessary, right? So just know that a lot of these computers are monitored. So there are some restrictions and there are some things you need to be cautious of. They're monitored by humans. So there are... Advice, BB. Exactly. So don't put your personal information don't put like your address and things like that keep it detail specific you know know exactly what you want to ask it and you know use it that way I also wanted to mention because me and you both we both have a ex expo that we are going to be educating on you know so let me pop that up real quick because you know guys we got to plug in me and Trin are going to be at the good um, the Good Hair Exposition. Uh, I will be one of the educators there. I will be teaching the TDM Hit and Beat Method. And my girl Trend will be teaching the Lock Master Class. You can catch us both on the stage rocking that thing out. Super excited about that. Um, and we'll leave that QR code up there on the screen so you guys can scan it for the rest of the show. But yes, so you know how we have a major to-do list and things to get in order before that day, right? There might be a checklist that we haven't quite prepared. We can use, let's get this back up here. We can get, we can use open chat AI. We can put in, we like, hey, I have to do a expo or a class by this date. Can you formulate a checklist that I would need? You can tell it, I'm in the beauty industry. I'm a cosmetology educator. My class is on this and I will be teaching for approximately this many hours. Can you help me create a checklist to make sure that I have everything I need that I would need at a pop-up show? And it will, form, it will form a list of things that you need at a pop-up show, some things that people might need, like a tent or a banner or a table or whatever you may think of the products that you're going to sell, marketing material and things like that. And then you can go in on top of that and say, hey, help me break this down into small bite-sized goals so I can complete it by this date. And then week one, it might be order this, order that, make sure you pack up this, make sure you do that. And then it will take you through step-by-step -step for us to just be prepared. We can have an assistant in the AI chat to make sure that we have what we need by this date. Literally by talking and texting into this platform, we have something that will help and assist us with our goal and help us you know, not make mistakes or be for forgetful because they are gonna tap into all this information again and tap into this database to make sure that it's super efficient. So it's, in a, great, it's a great assistant. So that's another way that me and you both could utilize open chat AI, okay? Yeah, got the juice. <laughs> um, this is so, good stuff. Yeah, we're almost done. And these two are very short. Um, I wanted to share these because I know. Um, well, did you have anything else to add to that? Because I, I just. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. I am a student right now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, uh, moving on to the next uh, AI tool that is very beneficial. These are two alternate 
because they're going to, in a way, act like Clavio as far as like creating automation for your business. Or so you can use Tome to create presentations. So if you type into Tome, um, which let me go ahead and back up because I'm way ahead of myself. So on the screen to our listeners, excuse me, we have a AI called Tome. And this AI is driven, is content driven, and it's a tool that helps assisting it helps assist you in creating engaging, high quality written content, content such as blog, blogs, blogs, posts, articles, and social media posts. How most people use Tome is, say if you are an educator like you and I, or you are someone who creates a blog, what you can do is plug in what you are wanting to do. So say if you want to teach a very efficient class on blog and styling and maintaining and things that you want to uh, add in that class, it's going to create all these slots filled in with the information. And it's going to be in the steps of how you would teach the class. It's going to be in steps of the lesson plan. It would do all of that for you. So say if you were on a live stream right now and educating um, virtual students, Tone would be a tool that you can utilize to go in Plug in the class that you're trying to teach, tell it, tell the details of the class, and it's going to create slides. So how we have a presentation up, you can create a slide instantly um, and it'll keep you on track for your class and help you have a great message and a great um, overall experience for your students. So for educators, teachers, things like that, home is really good. And then um, we also have Jasper. I am not familiar with Jasper, but I'm interested in Jasper. It's like a version of this, but it's a little more personal. It actually records how you, um, you can type in things and it records like your personality and the way you talk and the way you word things and phrase things. And then it creates content basically in your voice. So it has a lot of the benefits of the other AI uh, things as well. So Tome is one that's kind of new. I haven't pulled it out, but it's in my arsenal. So uh, I'm definitely going to have to check Tone um, Tom out, especially uh, I could benefit from that when I am doing my one-on-one -on -one classes that I have going on now. And mm -hmm. even when we are uh, demonstrating at the Good Hair Show, that would be mm -hmm. something good there. Uh, cause sounds like it kind of takes the place of cue cards. And it, That's exactly. And, and it helps you organize as well and even create. Yeah, um, so it, so that's it really, can... That's, yeah, I, I am interested in using that platform just mm -hmm. to help me to be able to create, help me when I'm not feeling so creative. So Yeah, that's exactly. Good I mean, stuff. you guys <laughs> listening in, what you think about Tome? Yeah, let know? us know what y'all think down below. Um, and we do have, you know, the last one I wanted to talk about, because I, you know, I'm not a professional in it. I'm more of an enthusiast, but I've mastered and perfected the ones that I know and the ones that have been most beneficial to me. Um, and the last one is a newer tool. Um, it is basically called futuretools.com. And this is like, think Google, but Google for AI. You can go on to futuretools.com, which is a platform that offers various AI powered tools and solutions to streamline business processes such as a data analyst, customer relationship management, and predictive and predictive analytics. So basically, this is like the Google of AI apps and AI things that you can use to run your business or anything. And one thing about this website, you can go on and search and type. They have all of these different categories. So if you're looking for marketing, they have they'll list all of the marketing AI. If you're looking for graphic design, you, you'll pull up, you can click on it and it will um, pull up all of the um, graphic designing AI. They have video editing AI. They have podcasting AI, AI. They basically have anything, any type of software or tool that you can use to help optimize your business, your brand, your expertise or anything like that. So that is one that I don't use often, but whenever I am stumped and I need something new, I usually go there to kind of find the newest trending type things. Um, but you know, you just got to filter through it and see what's out there and see what you like and see what you can benefit from. So it's just like I said, it's like the Google of AI tools and resources that you can use. And that's literally, uh, you know, the last, we have a comment. That's literally the last, um, 
resource and tool that I had, you know, because I always want to be informative and honest. And most of the thing, everything on here I use except for the future tools, because I just kind of Google and hear from other people what I want to use. And I try it out if it seems beneficial. Um, but yeah, what you think about that? Do you feel like you will be going on future tools and browsing around? Definitely. I am actually in the process of dropping these platforms down in the IG chat. Um, and what we can, what I'll do later on is after this video, I will go in on my page and drop in these platform, um, these AI platforms in the chat as well. I do encourage you guys to go back and watch this video because we have learned a lot today. We yeah. have learned so much today and right before we close our eyes. So this information is going to be retained. It's going <laughs> to manifest some things to create me some success in my near future. Money yes. fit, uh, manifestation, Money Making Monday is not over yet. We still got an hour. So I'm really excited mm -hmm. that we got this in today. BP, thank you so much for just taking the time to enlighten us uh incorporate the knowledge that you have go and get a little bit more knowledge to bring us today we Thank learned you. a couple more big words guys i cannot to expand our vocabulary and we're grateful oh my god that's we're so grateful funny for our brain. thank you grateful Thank for your you. passion honey so yes. um yes what let's recap on the yes. different ai platforms yes that we encourage the uh, watchers and our beauty vault pros, our beauty vault bosses to yes. um, check out later on, right? Okay, yeah, I'll quickly recap. And so the first one was Canva, which is gonna be great for graphic design. And then we had Quillbot, which is gonna be really good for all of our people that communicate in business and use a lot of words and have a lot of writing and a lot of typing. And the next is gonna be the Photoshop for audio is going to be Descript, which is great for podcasters or anyone who communicates um, with their voice um, to run their business. Up next, we have Clavio. It's an uh, automation tool that is great for getting your message across. It is kind of bypassing email marketing and tapping into SMS marketing, which is really common and, you know, is really tapping in and making use of the fact that we are on our cellular devices so much. Um, and then our last two were Tome and Jasper. And these are really good um, content generating AI tools. Very great for educators, very great for anyone who may have like a lesson plan or need to organize and chronologicalize, maybe not be a word, but put things into order um, is a great app for that. Um, and then I we ended with a resource which will kind of tap you into all of these AI softwares and more, which is futuretools.com. And that's basically the Google for all AI software and things like that. And that is the recap. Yeah. Yeah. This is a great show. It was so it fun. Really right was. up my alley. Right up my lane. <laughs> so I love talking about stuff like this. Oh, that was a good show. I enjoyed it. It really was. Thank you guys so much. I just wanted to let you guys know, again, we do have the Good Hair Fest um, coming up on August the 13th. It is a Sunday. It will be hosted in Charlotte, North Carolina at the West Complex, located at 1600 West Trade Street in Charlotte, North Carolina, 28216. You guys, make sure that you get your free tickets on um oh, www.thegoodhairfest.com yes we're still looking for vendors as well as um, people that may want to compete so you guys go ahead, make sure that you check mm -hmm. out www.thegoodhairfest.com bring your kids out bring your mama out bring your grandma out bring your daddy out bring your husband bring your wife bring your side to the good <laughs> hair show Yes. Um, your girl totally trend will be there with my beautiful co my accountability partner, my business partner, Period. my star, mm -hmm. my my homegirl, my <laughs> butt pie buddy. 
bb nicole she'll be there Go um, way back micro links i'll be there demonstrating starter lock technique as well as some um lock maintenance so you guys are going to have a special treat on august the 13th because dhg pro university is coming out in together. the building uh -huh. we finally got our first event together Okay, this is so crazy. talk about manifesting. You guys have been a part of our circle of influence for a while. So you've heard yeah. us talking about these things and what we're getting into. You've been here since the beginning and mm -hmm. uh, we've just started to get our feet wet. And now yeah. ain't no turning back. Okay, we got it's official not. mug. Right? Yes, we in uh, our merch. Let me bring I it back. I want to take the time to thank the most high for each and every person that watched this live tonight, um, that will yes. watch this live later on and for the next seven days and the days after that. Thank you for everyone that's listening um, to this audio. Um, thank you for everyone that engaged with us and has been a part of our circle of influence since we started this back in February. Ooh. And we're on our second season now. Um, yes. I'm grateful for the talents that you guys have, man. Find something that you love to do and make money doing it. Grow and create a business, create generational wealth, you guys. BB listed at least 17 different AI platforms that can use today <laughs> to benefit. <laughs> to benefit not only in your personal life, not 17. but in your business as well. So there's yeah. no excuse. There, you guys witness here today, if you were watching, that I have been afraid. I've been intimidated by AI for over 30 something years and but after being educated and enlightened today i feel more at peace and i'm definitely interested i'm going to i'm not even gonna lie i'm going to check out some of these social media i mean um, ai platforms because it's gonna benefit me it's gonna take some time off of my hands it's gonna give me more time with my family more time to spend with my clients um and more time to spend with my kids and even give me more time to give some self care because anybody yeah. that knows that's in the beauty industry or, or that are entrepreneurs we're always working right we're moving always so catch us here on the beauty vault each and every monday around 9 30 <laughs> talking about hot topics that have to do with the beauty industry or even in the culture you guys yes not only are we the problem but we're the solution as well let's do some That's stuff right. to make the change today for the future to come thank you everybody for joining bb you have any final words for us humans today <laughs> i do i love what you said uh we again thank y'all for tuning in use this time um, to stay with the trend, use what you will, um, definitely utilize artificial intelligence uh, res responsibly and ethically into your business, free up your time and unlock your creativity and the, the options and the possibilities are endless. Um, with AI and I'm definitely someone that is going to continue to utilize it in my business and I hope you guys do the same because we're here to elevate and level up and optimize our business that is the whole point of the beauty vault and we thank you guys for tuning in to yet another episode and that's it y'all have a great night see y'all bye <laughs>